There is currently a bitter feud ongoing between two world-renowned tech gadget companies, Apple and Intel, and it is all about laptop processors. What used to be a smooth and fruitful partnership has now disintegrated into a bitter competition that only works to offer buyers the best possible processors that money can buy. Welcome to yet another exciting video series where we inform you about the latest trends in the digital and tech industry. Today's video will be focused on the ongoing feud between Apple's M1 chip and Intel. If you are a prospective buyer, deciding on which one to go for can be quite tricky since both brands market their processors as the best. But in this video, we will review the strengths and weaknesses of both processors, then leave you to make up your mind on which to go for. Without further ado, let us begin. Apple is a top brand as far as laptops and smartphones are concerned, so much so that in the global gadget markets, its product is highly sought after by users looking for quality gadgets no matter the price. Due to its status, it is to be expected that there will be clashes between rival companies seeking a larger market share. We've seen such clashes come to light between Apple and Samsung and Apple versus Google. Now there is a new feud, and this time it is Apple and Intel. Before the feud, both tech powerhouses had originally teamed up to produce core-powered MacBooks, but after the breakup, Apple went ahead to develop its laptops using ARM processors to produce the M1 chips. With this new development, future MacBooks that will be made available to members of the public will come with M1 chips after the last batches of Intel-powered Apple MacBooks sell out. Once this happens, Apple plans to kick Intel out so as to focus on producing its own processors over the ones produced by third-party contractors. To be fair, Apple's move has been a massive success, partly because of its strong brand image. Its ARM M1 chip is already in high demand even before it hits the market, and the move to churn out MacBook Pro and MacBook Air laptops that are far more powerful than Intel-powered systems have really taken analysts by surprise. The new ARM M1 chips are also going to be used to manufacture the all-new iMac computers that Apple plans to unveil soon. But Intel is not one to go down without a fight. Intel has come out swinging by devising a strategy. The company's marketing strategy has been clear for all to see the moment the first adverts hit the airwaves. Intel's marketing campaign is simple. The strategy aims to explain to buyers that Intel processors are far better than Apple's because they are more flexible, work well with Windows 10 computers, and have a much stronger battery. The battle for supremacy between these two tech titans has led many to question the difference between Intel-powered laptops and Apple M1 laptops. Which is better? Before we do a quick comparison between the two, it will be wise for us to first give you a brief history of how we got here. What happened between Apple and Intel? First, we have to look back to the time when rumors started making the rounds that Apple was working on its own processors because the company wanted to have supply chain control over its resources similar to what it already has with the iPhone and the iPad. During the same period, Intel was already attracting criticism from industry stakeholders for its inability to produce processors that can perform what is called a die shrink. For years, Intel's system had run on 14 nanometer nodes, after which it moved to slow 10 nanometer chips. This continued to be the case until 2019, when Tim Cook blamed Apple's declining MacBook sales on Intel's inability to produce more chips. This criticism by the CEO of Apple stung the ego of Intel's executives. But to add salt to injury, Apple announced the introduction of MacBook Pro and MacBook Air with M1 chips. The company also announced custom-made ARM-based silicon processors. The release of the first set of laptops with this chip marked the end of a 14-year relationship between both companies. And the divorce was indeed a nasty one. What made it even nastier was what Intel did next. Intel released in-house benchmarks showing the key areas where its processors outperformed Apple's M1. After that, it went on an aggressive offensive by launching a campaign to persuade buyers to purchase Intel-powered computers over Apple MacBooks. Online Intel campaigners went on to poach Justin Long, who did the I'm a Mac Guy campaign for Apple. Justin Long joined Team Intel and appeared in adverts and promotional campaigns for Intel. So that's a brief overview of the history between both companies. Now we understand if you feel confused at this point and don't know whether to buy an Intel PC over a MacBook or the other way round. While the last thing we want is to tell you how to spend your money, what we can do is a logical comparison between the two, then leave you to make up your mind. So, let's go. 
the most important factor buyers look out for when shopping for a processor is performance. For years, Intel was the industry leader when it comes to processors, but that changed with rivals coming up with high-performance processors. Apple's AMD M1 chip is coated with silicon, and it has a fantastic processing speed and durability. Despite Intel's marketing campaign downplaying the power of the M1, Apple leaves Intel in the dust under this category. It is faster than Intel. Intel's argument against the M1 is that it fails EVO certification standards which it uses to rate PC processors. Intel says the M1 does not pass 8 of the 25 rigorous test processes required to get an a rating for EVI. The latest MacBooks running on M1 chips have good graphic performance because they run on integrated software solutions. However, they fall short of Windows 10 computers that run on Intel processors because Intel processors allow you to connect ultra portables to GPUs systems. This is especially true if you are an avid gamer. Intel-powered discrete graphic features are much better, so Intel wins on this one. Battery life is another factor buyers look at when shopping for systems to buy. No matter how advanced a system is, no buyer will rate it highly if the battery drains out quickly. Intel has poked fun at the battery life of Apple laptops that run on the M1 chip, but their argument cannot land a home run when you review just how good new Apple laptops are. The average Apple laptop can last for 16 hours and 32 minutes for the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Air can last for 14 hours, 41 minutes. Intel processors installed in Windows 10 PCs have the longest running batteries. For instance, the battery life of a Dell Latitude 9510 laptop is 18 hours, 17 minutes, while an Asus Expert Book will last for 16 hours, 42 minutes. Intel outlasts the M1 by roughly an hour, which isn't a big deal. Having a wide selection of hardware options to pick from is a big deal for the average buyer, but the hardware you go for is limited to the processor in your system. Intel processors wins it in this category because they work well with most computers that are not Apple products. Although Apple's AMD is beginning to get onto the game, it has quite a lot of ground to cover before it can gain the reputation that Intel has garnered over the years. Both Intel and Apple have great compatibility features. M1 ARM chips cannot load Intel-powered apps without the use of an emulator for software translation. The software is called Rosetta 2. Rosetta 2 does an excellent job of converting Intel apps without compromising its architecture. App translation often takes a toll on performance, but Apple's Rosetta does a great job. In the compatibility segment, Intel remains the standard, but Apple is fast catching up. The unfolding rivalry between Intel and Apple will push both companies to new heights of innovation. Intel has been the leading brand in the processor department for decades, but Apple is catching up pretty fast. The brand you decide to go for should be a thing of choice. Intel has a price advantage because its laptops are cheaper than Apple's. Moreover, you have a long list of PC brands to pick from that run on Intel processors. However, if you prefer notebooks, Apple's MacBook Pro and MacBook Air are the best in the market. So who do you think will win the most customer satisfaction? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting topics. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.